Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birdie Tail. Welcome back. Why the hell is this episode 26 minutes? <laughs> Rooster Teeth, what are you doing? Why is the third chapter in your sixth volume out of 14 chapters technically your longest episode of the series? Are you trying to kill us? Are you trying to put me in cardiac arrest? I like living. I love watching Ruby. I don't... Oh my god. I have no idea what to expect 26 minutes this is insane this is vault this is finale level of runtime this is the third chapter we have 11 more after this my my heart is literally doing gymnastics right now i saw this the runtime for this episode and i said to myself what the fuck is gonna happen this either this if this is like straight up Ozpin and Salem and Remnant backstory, the gods, the relics, the maidens, the everything, the cause of everything, Ozpin's true past revealed, Salem's true past revealed, this is going to change everything. Everything! This is going to literally shake the foundation of the series over the last five years. I do not even know where to begin. I, I have... I don't even know where my speculations can really run wild right now for what can lead me into this episode, other than the fact that we found out that Salem really is, you know, she was a human when, when everything started. 26 minutes in the third episode of your sixth volume, and you still have 11 more after this. If they're going this gung-ho three chapters in, I can only imagine what the future of this volume is going to have for us. Um, but more formally, <laughs> welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Murder of Birds. Uh, we're going to be getting into Chapter 3 of Volume 6 of Ruby. This is going to be my reaction. Um, my day has been really busy. It is 5 o'clock in, in the afternoon right now, or technically 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, today is my mother's birthday. I've been running around doing a lot of things, planning. Uh, I'm still going to be spending more time with her tomorrow. Uh, so my mother's birthday is today. Rooster Teeth's Extra Life, 24-hour uh, Extra Life charity stream uh, started today. I was watching a bit of that earlier this morning. My reaction to Ruby Volume 2, uh, Volume 6, Chapter 2 went out earlier. So I partook with people live in the premiere chats for that. Uh, and chapter three came out. My day has been so hectic. I uploaded my, my theory to, uh, you know, the duality of Jean Arc. I have no idea if this is going to, uh, add more weight or, or basically debunk that theory, but that's another theory that I've been working on over the week that I hope you guys enjoyed for when it went up. Oh my God. I, 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 <laughs> I have no words. I cannot believe this man. Um, I'm not even going to waste any time. Guys, 26 minutes is fucking heavy. I'm going to try to survive this next half an hour to have something to say at the end. So thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. I really do appreciate the support overall. The fucking live stream discussion for this is going to be like six hours. It's, it's, I have to like either do it early or I'm going to be up until like one, two in the morning talking about this chapter, but my God, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really hope all of you enjoy these reactions, uh, especially for those of you who might be seeing this a little bit early due to Patreon's early access for my unedited reactions. Uh, but with that said, with all that out of the way, um, let us fucking dive into the depths because I'm freaking nervous. Uh, let's do it. Oh man, I haven't felt this anxious since the volume three finale. Um, my heart is literally like jumping right now. And I have no idea what to expect. 26 minutes, 35 seconds, Ruby, Volume 6, Chapter 3, The Lost Fable. What is your favorite fairy tale? Well, the first time we heard that, that led to my favorite character getting killed. So that doesn't help my anxiety at all. It makes it worse. Oh my god, Rooster Teeth, please don't let this chapter be the end of me. <laughs> I love Ruby, I love living too much. Oh my god, I have no clue. I feel like when I watch this episode, I'm gonna be a changed man. I'm gonna be living in a post-volume 6, chapter 3 world. But without further ado, the show must go on. And we're gonna be starting in 3, 2, 1, now. Oh my god, I have no clue! No clue, man. 
I'm I'm lost. Salem and Ozpin's past, the remnants past, the relics, the maidens, the gods, everything. Stay close, move fast. The darkness cannot last. No hope, no path. But we've got a dream to catch, and we cannot wait. Mm -mm -mm. Trust the way we're made The sparrow's born to fly The mountain's tower The river knows reach the sea the Help the flowers be We're the same, you and me The lightning doesn't take advice from anyone the willow doesn't need to learn to stay in. Seize day, we'll find our way. Mm -hmm. Dream together someday soon. I'm gonna fucking die! Oh my god! I have no idea! Oh my god, my heart, my heart is literally. Here we go. Thank you, Monty. Thank you, Kruby. Salem! Locked away cruel by father? the cruel father. Salem was Is a girl who desired but one thing. Freedom. Freedom. The, 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 the symbols on the side? She lived in a time when kings and their kingdoms were plentiful. Ah! Men and women were capable of greatness. And magic was a gift from the gods that all could weep. Everyone had magic! And yet ah! there she sat ah! within her tower. Until one day, a legendary hero came to brave the Ozpin! challenges within the tower Oz! of Oz! Ozpin, the king the of people Vail. of the lands knew him as Ozma. Ozma, Oscar, Ozpin. This was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand. What the hell? For righteousness and his pure heart. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, the scepter! You saved her. They escaped the wretched fortress. Oh no! You took but her they, out. Something bound them together. Oh wait! They, they're a thing! Oh, my theory's kind of right. Times, but now saw a woman worth saving it for. Ozpin. And Salem, to her surprise. Found her freedom not in the outside <laughs> world she had yearned for, but for the person. The eyes of the man yes, saved her. this is so beautiful. Wherever you'd like. Oh, the oh no, first voice. Planned adventures around the world. Oh God, a lover scorned right now. Ospin, what did you do? You broke her heart. Or at least, that's what should have been. What? Ozma, the infallible hero of legend, <gasps> oh! fell ill, and where all his curse, the beasts his and curse. blades of the world had fallen short, a single sickness prevailed. Wow. <laughs> the scepter. Okay, so the scepter was something that she had How left. The gods let this happen. The gods, brothers. Of the brothers. And oh shit! Creation, creation and destruction. destruction. Salem prayed they would see the injustice Choice of the knowledge? Of her love and make things right. The domain, the domain of the, of the what? She went to the gods herself. It was here the elder brother dwelled beside his fountain of life and creation. They literally lived with gods. It was here where mankind would fall to ruin. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is where shit goes down. Salem, please don't be... Uh, she was like, she was just like, my love's gone. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Dude, this is so beautiful! Oh, what? Oh, oh, the, that's the... The God of Light? Oh my god, I fucking love this episode. Please, please bring him back to me. I understand your pain, 
But you demand of me. Which I cannot I make, make so. so. Can't bring the dead back. Life and death. Exactly. Part of a delicate balance. Don't attack him, please! Don't take it into your own hands, Salem. You won't do it then? Salem, please. To please! The cycle of... Th that's not fair. No! That's not fair! You you need a you need to stop. Let him rest. You're fucking with a god right now. She's gonna go to the dark brother. The brother of light's not gonna help her, she's gonna move on. No. The god of God damn it! Fuck! None dare to enter his home. As this is literally like where she is right now! From his blackened pools of annihilation. Oh! And so you must understand the Dark Lord's surprise when he found a lone woman kneeling before him. Yeah, like what? He must be bashing crazy! Oh my god, these fucking effects! <laughs> That's so terrifying. The Grim! Okay, obviously he's the. Oh my god! Ugh. Salem understood it well. Yeah, you fucked up! She told him of her loss and professed that she knew only he could answer her prayers. All while careful to make no mention of- No, family. you idiot! Run, Why? Child, and let your faith in me be rewarded. Salem, you're getting duped! This is how she turns into a Grim? Whoa! She- the, What? How'd you bring him back? No, it's not! You fucking idiot! He told you no! What have you done? I have done what I please, brother. <laughs> you may pass the powers of creation, but you do not own them. This is not They can creation. both create? Lecture me. Well, I mean, yeah, he creates the Grammy, creates life. Do not lecture me. I will do what I must. To maintain order. Oh no! 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 Oh! No. You no. No. Oh my you God! Do? She Bring killed them back. twice. You dare enter my domain and show such disrespect! This is a really awkward no. family. Oh, no! Come on! That's fucked up! Upon. Stop! Those that I now see work ever in your favor. And yet this immortal comes. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Yo, we Skyrim boys! Oh my god, get wrecked! What? What? Fucking Shenron! Are differences, but I have not come here with the game to control. Oh my god, that is nuts! Cannot be sent for her. This woman came to you only after I denied her, please. Please, that would have disrupted the balance. Uh, they have to make balance. Together. That's fucked up, man. They just wanted. She just wanted them two to be together. So now they're gonna drive them apart to keep balance. No. Oh, that's fucked up. Come on, you're you're toying with this fucking girl's heart. You, you monsters! Give him back to me. Give him back. What? Oh, she has magic. That's right. Salem, are you fucking crazy? You're literally fighting gods right now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this chapter is so gorgeous. Ruby, you guys are insane. You guys are incredible. When you first came to me, I did pity you. But now. But it is clear now that your selfishness and arrogance have led you astray. What you gave you, you gave her that choice. I have made you immortal. Oh, immortal? You cannot die. You cannot be with your beloved. So, so long, long as, as this world turns, <laughs> you shall walk its face. You D must Why the did you of life and death? That's really brutal. Holy and fuck. You You're going to give her a mortal like a torture that she's going to be tortured forever. Salem was a prisoner once again. 
Exactly. Her fruitless attempts to reunite with Ozma eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. <gasps> oh, God! <sighs> but perhaps the gods were not as powerful as they seemed. She had lied to them, turned them against one another. They were fallible. Were fallible. She's if gonna she use to that. Humanity against light and darkness, <clears throat> she could rid herself of their curse. So she's doing least, things for her own self-interest at this point as well. Them suffer. Whoa, careful, Ruby. Jesus Christ. Salem traveled from one <coughs> kingdom to another, this guy? telling tales of how she stole immortality from the gods. Welcome oh, to spreading lies. And demonstrated her power. Dividing people. With the kings and queens in awe, <clears throat> she pulled them deeper into her Yeah. Skin. She painted them Calculated. at a time when they would no longer have to watch their loved ones wither and die. When they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves. All under the guise of a tr uh, all under the guise of a lie. <clears throat> all they needed to do was destroy their old Fuck man! Humanity's the fucked! Had hoped that Salem would learn from her eternal no! Curse. You fucked up by making her immortal! She, she learned, she learned that the hearts yep. of men are easily swayed. Divide them. Divide and conquer. It's crazy too that the god of light and darkness, they're not like opposing, like they see that part. balance is necessary. How much time is left? Fuck! We're only we're not even halfway there! Everyone has magic! <laughs> My own gift to them. Fuck. You guys are dumb. You guys are dumb. You guys are dumb. Eradicating everyone! Starting all over. Except her. No. No. You thought there was no greater punishment we could bestow upon you? I'll come back. I'll tell the rest of the world of this massacre. Build a new army. You do not understand. There is no, no one left. left. It's just you. You. Are all that remains of humanity. Fucking Christ. This planet was a beautiful experiment. But true. It was merely a remnant. Remnant! The world of remnant! And that's you why they leave! Failure. How did him how did mankind happen again then? No. You can't leave! You can't leave! Oh my Come fucking god. Still demanding things of your creators. I kind of, I kind of. Oh, the moon! Oh! oh my God! That's how it's broken! <laughs> Finally! But what? But what does that? Does that cause anything to happen? Once again. Wow, dude, the fucking God of Darkness is. I kind of, I kind of like him. He's not, a, he's not all that bad. Gods. She cursed the universe. There's only Grim. Everything. Only grim. Everything but herself. But she ends up controlling she them too, the so of the planet awaiting a death that would never come. Until fate led her back to the land of dark. Land of dark. And this is where her, her domain is now. This was it. <clears throat> this had to be it. The brothers grim, the pools of black that continued to give rise to horrific <laughs> nightmares. She's gonna plummet in life granted her immortality. Yep, the pool would grant her grim. Grim would finally take it away. Nope! She Quite the born. opposite! Fucking hell. And thus the Salem was born. Destruction could not destroy a being of infinite life. Instead. Oh my god, volume four! Holy shit! Pure destruction. <laughs> and in time, she would find her adversary. How did he come back then? That's what I don't. Wait a minute, is he in one of the vaults? The 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 the, the weathered time space that, that looks like one of the vaults. Well, isn't he supposed to be dead? 
God FF Light? God of Light. Where am I? Oh, damn. We are between realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands yeah. of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, we're gonna curse like you to, to deal you to deal with to your to your it. your mistress. I don't understand. Is that Aaron Dismuke? Is no more. Yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. Hmm. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction. Fraction of what they, of what they were. were. Yeah, because of Salem. Creation, destruction. Oh, the relics! A sword! Were the, the lantern! Upon which humanity was wait, made. wait, show the other ones! Now. A sword, a spear, a crown, and a lantern! That you may learn to remake. Dude, the, the fucking King of Vale had two of them! He had the crown and the, the, together, and the sword. These four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world. Oh! And humanity will be judged. If humanity will be judged again. Harmony with one another and set aside their differences. Then we shall once again live among you. Wow. And humanity will be made whole again. Holy shit. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then we're going to wipe you out again. And your yep. world will be wiped from Oh, the sense. whole world. Okay. Fuck. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate. You will reincarnate. That's fucked up. Like, re like you dropped it on and him? That ensures you are never alone. Oscar. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. Oh, trust me. Trust me. May, She's still there. I return to the afterlife to see Salem. You will not find her there. She is alive. You mean and she well isn't gone? and dark lives, and grim. But the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Ozpin. Where you seek comfort. Ozma, holy shit, what a pain. callback. So will you I'll do it. <laughs> Damn, just like Pira. Well. No questions Our asked. Rests within your hands. Jesus Christ. And so Ozma, Ozma was, was reborn. reborn into Ozpin. Oh my god! Over and over! <laughs> Is this him? As like a random farmer guy? And he's just witnessing. Where am I? Oh, that's like his first host transfer! Oh! <laughs> Ozpin, you're back! Ozma! Oh, oh, thank you. Please, tell me your name. Who are you? Drop a name, buddy. Drop a name, buddy. Yep, he didn't know. Ozma had found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Shit. Cities look different. Yeah. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and- Whoa! And the Faunus are coming up! Ages. And without the blessing of the gods, Dust. No one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. That's so no one but Dude, himself. the lore is ridiculous! The, known as the witch. The witch. What? During his years of travel, he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded Yeah, okay, obviously Salem among the beasts and monsters. Salem, right? Or is this something else? Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem. And no. Decided he needed to see what she had become. Is this where like her humble beginnings as a grim queen were? No, it's fuck. Yes, it's him. It's him. It's him. Call it magic or call it something stronger. What? What drove them apart moment, then? Like this should be re exactly this should be perfect. This should be perfect. Us. Nothing should be going wrong at this point. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events. Which oh my God! Is this like this? Together, is this where Beacon is founded? Of their story. No, 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 no! This Ozma is where the the wizard's house may be. The end of the world on the gods. Ozma, still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relic. And the relic is ah. Uh, that's that's, passed, that's omitting Ozpin. Well, that's a lie, buddy. Ozma's conversation with the God of Light still lingered in his mind. 
He had found happiness. So Humanity is... seemed more divided than ever before. Is this the... Are you surprised? <sighs> this world is quite literally godless. Hmm. These humans have no one to guide them. But you Perhaps two. That's all they need. What are you saying? Oh, his voice! We could become the gods of this world. No. Our powers surpass all others. No. Our souls transcend <laughs> death. No, please! We can mold these lands into whatever we want. What you want. Create the paradise that the old You two need not. to die and let nature run its course. The hearts of men are, are easily, easily swayed. swayed. I mean, look at her! Not gonna lie, Salem's pretty attractive back in the day. But see, this isn't- this- you shouldn't be doing this shit, the Grim are killing humans! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's him from the opening! Show them gods and deities, blind and keep the people on their knees! The two amassed a following. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And that's when kingdom started happening! That kingdom blossomed. A, a family? family? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! The maidens! Oh! Those are the little girl maidens! Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word and destroy those who will deny it. Nope! That's not how things work, Salem. Salem! You what are- What are you doing? <gasps> exactly! Yes, exactly! This guy's corrupt. This guy's like- This isn't what he asked of me. He's lost his way. What did you say? Oh okay. god. Maiden powers. <laughs> oh it was a miracle. The magic Their is dispersing. Form magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was no. short-lived. He's going to tell her about what ha the Oswald truth. He told Salem everything. Yeah. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. The relics that lay scattered Shit, around the world. This is heavy. And the day oh of my judgment he'd been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be? No, nope, and this is where their differences come across. Yikes. Honestly, I don't blame Ospin at all! Look at him, trying to be a nice father! Trying to get away from his crazy mother! Oh, fuck. Ospin, you done goofed. Oh god, children run! Oh, this is it. Oh! Yo, that's straight up out of Harry Potter! Holy fuck! This is literally Harry Potter! Yo, 2D smoke? 2D? Oh no, the kids! For the kids, guys! Extra life is today! Fuck, he can't kill her. But she can keep killing him and starting the process all over again. We finally have freedom. No. Hi. Fuck. She up. Uh, so she killed him. began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. Oh my goodness. Some lives were spent in mourning. Many were spent attempting wow. to forget it all, but no matter the dad! what, his Oz mind dad. would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. So eventually, Ozma comes Ozma back. Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with yes. which he had been paired. Yes, there you go. But no matter where or how he lived, is he a her oh shit? Always felt. He's got to do what he's got to do. Humanity were ever to stand a chance of oh my being God, Ozpin, you fucking the weight of the world on your shoulders. I com Salem. I completely understand. You Knowing are justified. He could never rid the world of her through any mortal means. Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, 
He's, He's like, all right, I'm gonna die. Yep, and the next God one's gonna come through. Until uh, until Crow becomes a thing. Oh, and the relic. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And yep. I gave him my answers. It didn't How help. I destroy Salem. It's not gonna help. Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. The fuck you mean you can't? What? Like, like, period, or he can't? Like, maybe Ruby can, or somebody else. No fucking way! Get the fuck out of here, dude! How the fuck was that 26 minutes?! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This changes everything! This literally changes everything. Alright, I gotta pause right here. First off, that concept image looks so fucking good. Oh my god. Have I been, like, reborn? Am I, like, the next Ozma? I'm living in a post-volume 6, chapter 3 world. Holy fucking lore. This... This was so different than what I thought. I was like, Ospin has to be lying. Ospin's the bad guy. Salem is justified. Like, she's literally a woman scorned, like, times 30. Times a thousand. But eventually she lost her way to just wanting to be above everybody else. And he stayed humble. The fucking maiden girls! Oh my god! The little maiden children! So like, technically that's the origin of maidens and magic. And I I guess the fairy tale was kind of a hyperbole of that. Like, yeah, he did bestow magic to the maidens, but it was through like natural like just having offspring and your magic passing down as as a as a hereditary trait. The origin, man. The origin story. This was so crazy. All right, I'm gonna switch really quick. I don't even know where to begin to unpack this episode. Twenty six minutes. Incredibly dense. So many different points. So many different bits of lore that change the fundamentals of the story in so many ways. Ozma freed Salem from her entrapment from her father which i think that's a rapunzel reference or a tangled reference so she's freed ozma and her fall in love ozma dies she goes to the gods wants to get him back in a lot of fantasy you can't bring the dead back to life and if you try like she does it doesn't end well um she goes against the gods gets him back he dies again comes back again, dies again, <laughs> like, the, like, I, like, so, I'll be straight up right now, I don't think, I don't see why Ozpin, like, I don't, th there was really nothing to to hide but a personal story that was really his business and nobody else's, um, I know Salem is affecting the world in a grander scheme that is affecting millions of people on Remnant, but, like, Similar to Yang not telling Crow about Raven, like, when they had their conversation, she was like, oh, Raven's gone. It wasn't because she had anything to hide, it was because it was, a, uh, it was quite literally, like he said, something that he feels is a burden to him, and that it's his responsibility to uphold. And I feel like because Ozpin was keeping secrets, a lot of people will shift that mindset of, well, he's hiding something, he's clearly innocent. If you're innocent, you'd have nothing to hide, you'd be completely, you know what I mean? It's just that mentality. I don't see anything wrong. And like, Ozpin is just unfortunately thrown into the circumstance. He saved Salem. He died. Years and years later, she becomes this grim deity. And, and he ends up being dragged back in by the gods to kind of find a solution. And I guess it's because it's him. You know what I mean? Like, if anyone's going to listen to... Uh, if anyone's going to convince Salem to stop or whatever the case might be, it's going to be him. So that was really unfortunate. Salem literally goes up against the creators of the world, the god of light and darkness. Clearly, she gets fucked up. And as a punishment, they they wipe off humanity as, we, as they knew it, right? 
Magic was abundant. Everyone knew about Magic. Uh, Grim were very, you know, it, it wasn't like so doom and gloom where now humanity is really helpless and they need to scrounge at the remnant. Literally, everything in this world, everything that we've been perceiving and everything that we've been told of this world are... Oh my god, the opening! I mean, the, 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 the first episode. Mankind is quite fond of exploiting the... The, uh, is quite fond of exploiting the accounts of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. The moon, remnants scattered because the god of darkness was super extra when he left. The maidens are the remnants of Ozpin's offspring. Grim are the remnants of the god of darkness. The relics are the remnants of the gods in general, like every factor that's in play with this series since the start were remnants of the past dust is, is our remnants of what magic used to be it is so crazy how years and years and years of setup are paying dividends off are paying so well for rooster teeth right now for the story that you know it was just really, I feel like it was a matter of patience at the end of the day. Being patient and knowing it wasn't a matter of if we'd get these answers, but when we'd get them. And I think this is really a perfect time to be getting them with the aftermath of Volume 5. But more importantly, because everything that has been set up and led up to now. The dragons in the first episode? The fucking dark dragon and light dragon? References to eventually being Shenron and Alduin <laughs> in this episode. Like... The set pieces are so perfectly woven and so, like, perfectly placed. God's abandoned remnant. Salem's, you know, immortal. She can't die. That's her punishment. She's the only human to turn the Grim. She falls into the pool, becomes the queen of the Grim. Eventually, mankind kind of, you know, is born from dust, essentially, because, you know, they have to be brought back at some point. Very primitive very uh uh you know novice in terms of that where they where they're you know they're kind originally uh came up from with magic and sorcery and all this other ancient stuff um i think ozma kind of screwed up in a way because it's like he freed her which he never knew that that would have happened and at the end of the day at two it's really salem Salem really is just a, a score it, and, and that I like how it wasn't originally that it was literally the pain of loss of losing someone that you care more about and will do anything to have them back regardless of the consequences I don't think it was ever a sense of a lover scorned as much as it turned as much as it devolved from wanting to do anything for this person to eventually having a very high opinion of herself and seeing herself above everyone else as being this immortal queen of the grim and wanting to kind of instead go to the back back to the regular ways wanting to rule over these people and be this new deity since the other ones have abandoned remnant and ozpin was humble ozpin was like no like i died you couldn't handle it you took matters into your own hands that backfired on everybody mankind in general your situation isn't any better my situation isn't any better we have to make this right and he stuck to the code and she didn't and that in turn is now why i feel like she feels betrayed now after everything that she did after everything she was put through ospin was still like no we can't do this to where you know he was trying to leave with the kids you know it was kind of like a custody case at this point which was super crazy to see that dynamic in in, in remnant and to it's cool to actually get confirmation that ospin and salem were a thing and they had kids and those kids were the early descendants of the maidens and the maiden powers and magic still existing in the world which is super cool um obviously we learn more about the relics if they get all the relics back the gods will come back to the to, to the world and judge them and if they are judged fairly everything will be restored if they are judged poorly eradication period end of discussion everyone's dead at that point so i'm wondering if salem is going after the relics because she doesn't want that to happen and we obviously know that ospin is going for the relics but he he shouldn't be going for all four relics until he can guarantee man humanity comes together and right now they are far from together they're the furthest they can be they're more scattered than ever and the world of remnants over the last couple of years have 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 kind of given us that notion like always fighting you know always never fight always fighting for yourselves and never against yourselves and always being together and unified and not divided like salem wants because if you're divided like salem wants then she doesn't have to worry about the gods because she knows that ozpin won't do whatever he's trying to do to bring them back 
And I don't really understand what the end goal would be. Like, why would say, why would the gods coming back and judging humanity fairly be an issue to her unless it is this super crazy god complex that she has at this point and she doesn't really give a shit about anyone below or beneath her um you know ospin ozma i keep calling him ospin ozma ozma obviously is the initial incarnation the initial conscience but we know him as ospin but ozma essentially starts his reincarnation cycle uh he comes back as one of the the characters in the trailer with the cloak and the you know the magic and all that stuff and the uh and um Obviously, things don't work out. I'm trying to, like, just bullet point my thoughts because this live discussion this week, this upcoming week, is going to be absolutely insane. But show them gods and deities blind and keep the people on their knees. Sacrifice is so relevant to the past, it's scary. And it's crazy to think that people have actually said that Ruby has no good foreshadowing and we're seeing that in troves right now. So, like, sacrifice is playing a lot into the past, into the origin of things, uh, into a lot of the, uh, I guess, context clues of what we can understand of the past and what we now know of the past, which is a lot with the origin of things, the origin of Salem and Ozpin and magic and the gods and the relics and the maidens and everything else. Um, Ozpin, the house that Ozpin went to to find Salem, reminded me of two things. Number one, it reminded me of the house... Uh, the the cabin in the woods by the river uh, for the for the for the wizard's home uh, in the world of remnant uh, talking about the four maidens but another house that it reminded me of was in volume two when Yang went to look for her mother and the house looks ve like looks eerily s similar to the one that Ozpin and Salem ended up uh, you know kind of courting it within uh in the forest and kind of starting their life up anew um so i'm again more foreshadowing a lot of set pieces like it, it's super crazy and uh at some point they both decided hey we're gonna rule humans and we're gonna have kids and we're gonna start a family and we're gonna get back together and things are gonna be great and things would have been great right there if salem didn't think no i want more i want to control people we can be gods we're better than everyone we can't even die and that's where things started to fall apart. So, Ozpin completely justified, in my opinion, Ozpin is completely justified in his actions. He lies to people, he omits a lot, but in the gr at the end of the day, look at the situation we're in. Look at the situation we're in. He's hardly the cause of it. If anything, he's a byproduct of what's happened. And it's really her fault. Her fault, not Ozpin's. You can blame Ospin for, for hiding and keeping the truth from people, but this was a personal story that I don't think anyone should have forced onto him to, 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 to reveal if he wasn't comfortable with it. It's his spouse, it's the, 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 the mother of his kids, technically, and it is something that he was dragged into because of her, and she did it because of him. I, I, I am so glad that, at the end of the day, like, I had my suspicions of Ospin, but I was always still on the fence of, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to villainize him until we get the full story. And now that we have the full story, it's a lot easier to contextualize our feelings and, and, and rationality and justification of what she's done, what he's done, what, what it's caused the world to be at this point and everything else in between. But, uh, yeah, she ends up killing him now. And at this point she's on this tirade. She's on this power trip. She just wants to be the best. I don't really know if it's very motivating for her to be doing what she's doing, there's really no end goal other than I want to rule humans or, and then, because then if she destroys all humans, like she wants to do, we're back to square one. We're back to literally what happened before humanity came back. And I don't understand that mentality from Salem's perspective, unless there's more to it for her at the, at the current time. But yeah, Ozpin's dying. The cycle's re you know, the cycle's happening. Apparently, uh, Jin also said that Ozpin can't de destroy Salem. I don't think that means she's unstoppable. I just mean that, I think that means that Ozpin, Ozma can't do it. It might just have to be a simple, more honest soul, AKA Ruby. Um, fuck me, dude, fuck. Jesus Christ, this, this episode. I have to go back and dedicate 30 minutes of, at a time of my time <laughs> to, 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 to unpacking this fully. And kind of getting a full grasp on it, especially for the live discussions, for the reviews, for the shit posting, and everything else like that. But my god, this this is the most ambitious episode Rooster Teeth has ever undertook. This changes everything. This changes the foundation of the show. This changes 
the, the 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 fandom what we've come to know and expect and understand everything has to be rewritten now everything has to be fully contextualized with the past and it was beautifully done a lot of homages to to references and inspirations and 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 foreshadowing and, and stuff like that um this is by far rooster teeth's greatest work when it comes to ruby it it shined through and through i am incredibly proud of them for for this amazing undertaking 26 minutes in the third chapter of the volume we have 11 chapters left i have no idea how things are going to pan out for this volume um especially the finale at this point if this was a taste of what we got in the midst in before we start getting four minute chapters like in volume five i'm sorry like in volume one because they blew all their budget in this episode but um incredible mind-blowing i am forever changed by this episode we are now living in a post volume six chapter three world and uh i can't wait to see what happens next but again thank you guys so much for watching the reaction i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction my thought my afterthoughts and everything else i'm gonna try my very best to unpack this episode as best i can and um you know until then we we can only look forward to what's gonna be in the future i hope to see all of you guys uh, in the live stream discussion later this week, it's going to be like a five, six, seven, eight hour discussion. I can already envision it right now. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts as always in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.